There's still a way for you to survive this, Red Axe. Give me the Harbinger, and I'll let you leave Prague alive. Weakling. I should have guessed that southern witch had you caught in her web. She thought she could bend me to her will with her gifts and her honeyed lies. As though I needed the help of a sorceress to win the Blood God's favor and lead us of our cool's horde. When Prague fell, I consecrated its streets with the blood of innocence. When the demons gathered to feast, I subjugated them and was exalted in the eyes of Korn. He gifted me with this axe to bring death and ruin upon the old world. I told the witch that if she stayed in Prague, I would hang her head from my belt. She has gone to the Forest of Knives to seek the champion of Slanish. Her pretty lies will serve her well there. That was a mistake. If you'd kept her close, it might have saved your life. You fool. My death is a gift to Korn. Through me, he will bring ruin to the old world. <laughs> Be my armor. Be my weapon.
my arm. This is not my final arm.
is not my final hour. Take me alive! Be my arm! Be my weapon! Be my arm. Do that right now. Be my arm. Be my arm. 
my weapon.
my arm. Be my weapon. To my last breath. Leave the axe to me, Captain Volan. Do not touch it, lest you forfeit your soul. Sigmar's bones! Take the cursed thing. I don't want any part of it. Your courage and skill have saved a great many lives, Captain. Othgrim Redaxe is dead, and his warband has been scattered. It will take many years, I suspect. But Gorchev and his people now have a real chance at rebuilding Prague. We're still no closer to catching the Harbinger. Did Uthgrim tell you anything before he died? The Harbinger made the same offer to him as she did to Kessler. He said he didn't need her help to lead Kull's horde, and threatened to kill her if she didn't leave Prague. According to him, she's gone to find the followers of Slanesh in the Forest of Knives. I've never heard of such a place. I would not expect you to. It's an ancient place, deep in the frozen wilds of Norska. An elven city used to stand there, long before the coming of chaos. If the gods are with us, I may be able to open its waystone and allow us to travel there. There's one more thing. Uthgrim referred to the Harbinger as that Southern Witch. What do you think that means? From Uthgrim's perspective, anyone not from the Chaos Wastes is a Southerner. I think it's more than that. We've been assuming the Harbinger was one of Cool's people. What if she isn't? What if she's from the Empire? 
It would explain how she was able to recruit Kessler and carry out the attack at Nuln. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. If she were from Nuln, the witch hunters would have found her and dealt with her long before she'd become a threat. We'll know the truth soon enough. For now, let's return to the forest. I must make preparations for the next phase of our journey. I am ready to open the Waystone to the Forest of Knives, Captain. I trust you are prepared. The path ahead will be perilous indeed. It can't be worse than the horrors we've seen in Prague. Do not be so sure. The forest lies in the heart of Norska, which sits at the edge of the Chaos Wastes. The winds of magic blow wild there, corrupting everything they touch with the power of chaos. There's more to it than that, High Lawmaster. Much more. Do you want to tell him, or shall I? What's he talking about? Of all the chaos gods, Slanesh is the one my people dread the most. We know her as she who thirsts because she craves the souls of Elvenkind more than any other race. Slanesh is the god of excess. She corrupts by fulfilling one's darkest wishes and deepest hungers. In ancient times, her secret cults flourished among my people. You see, Captain, not even the high and mighty elves are safe from the temptations of chaos. Once we reach the forest, I will remain close to the Waystone, where its energies will conceal my presence. I cannot risk drawing the attention of the cult until our mission is complete. Not to worry, High Law Master. I will see to it that the Captain receives all the help he deserves. Cast your spell and let us depart.
Sigma's bones! How did you get here? I was going to ask you the same thing. Who are all these people? Imperials and Kislevites, captured by Norse raiders. They bring their captives back to Norsk as slaves, or sacrifices to their foul gods. We are the lucky ones. We managed to escape. <laughs> but we quickly learned that without a ship, there was no way to make it back to our homes. So we ended up here. We found the ruins of an old elven city deep in the forest, and plenty of food to eat. For a time, we thought we were safe. Until Strayling arrived. Because it's the one place in the whole country the Norse are afraid to go. Strayling? Fergon Strayling. A Norse warlord who joined Asavar Kul's horde. When Kul died at Kislev, Strayling and his war band fled here. They've taken over an elven temple at the heart of the forest and desecrated it with their foul rituals. There's something terrible lurking there now. At night, when the green moon is high in the sky, you can feel it calling to you. Uh, sometimes people get up in the dead of night and wander out into the forest, never to be seen again. Now, Strayling's people hunt us through the forest. Some they kill, others they drag off to the temple. Soon, there won't be any of us left. Does Skraling have a sorceress with him? A woman who calls herself the Harbinger? How did you know? Klemt, I need to get inside that temple. Can you help? I wish I could, friend. But right now, I have more urgent problems to solve. Impertinent wretch! We are agents of the Empire. What sort of problems? Every time my people try to leave camp and hunt for food, Strayling's men are waiting for them. We've been trapped here for weeks, and there's nothing left to eat. If I deal with Strayling's hunters, will you help me get inside the temple? Alone? Are you mad? Strayling's men are vicious killers! They're not the only ones, Clement. Trust me.